Hey guys, Susie here. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Hope all of you are doing well. And in today's video, I'm sharing with you guys some of my latest beauty buys and giving you guys a quick uh, review of them, letting you guys know what I think about them, if I'm still using them, do I like them, do I think they're worth purchasing. So this is going to be a really quick kind of uh, would I repurchase it? Do I like it? Do I not like it? Kind of video. I want to do more of these kind of videos. I know that a lot of you guys like it when I just get straight to the point about whether I do or don't like something. Don't really beat around the bush too much. So that's kind of what I'm going to try to do in today's video. So let's start off with the first product that I repurchased. This is the Heritage Store Rose Petals Rose Water. I was hoping to purchase the toner, but they were out of it at my local Target. And the only other store that sells this close to me is not anywhere close to me. And I was not about to go out there looking for it. But this is a repurchase. This is the eight fluid ounce bottle. I was trying out a little mini size for a while, really liked it. And I just really kind of like it as a setting spray sometimes, a little refreshing spray, just something to mist on your face, just feels nice and cool, feels really good. Kind of thinking about putting this in my beauty fridge and letting it get nice and cool. Oh, it would feel so good to spray on my face. I'm really thinking about that. But definitely recommend if you're just kind of looking for a nice facial spray, something that has a nice rose scent because this does have a rose scent, so it is pretty strongly fragranced. Um, naturally, of course, this is rose petal, so this is not an artificial fragrance. But if you're someone that doesn't like fragrances, you don't like the smell of rose, you definitely don't want to purchase this. So the next one is the Holy Hydration Face Cream from e.l.f. It's a fragrance-free uh, face cream with hyaluronic acid and peptides, so full of all kind of good things. I heard about this from Sabrina. She has a YouTube channel, very well-known YouTuber, really love her videos. It definitely does not have a fragrance, and I've used about half of it so far. Uh, at first, I was thinking that maybe this was causing some skin issues for me, but I think I was wrong. Um, honestly, I think it was just my face routine, some products that I was using, but it was not this. Um, I have went back to using this and I have not noticed any kind of face issues. Actually, I feel like my skin's actually been looking pretty good. So I've been pretty happy and satisfied with it. Very inexpensive. I paid about $6, I think it was, for this face cream. So very, very inexpensive. Um, just a really good face cream, affordable, and I would say it's pretty hydrating, but it's not greasy, so it doesn't make me feel greasy, doesn't make me look like I just went out and, I don't know, dipped my face in some kind of shortening or anything like that. It's not a greasy mess. I have oily skin, and this does not make me break out, nor does it make me look like an oil slick. Um, but at the same time, it does moisturize my skin, and I really like the hyaluronic acid in there, the peptides. I feel like my skin's just been kind of looking a little bit more glowy and just looking healthier. So really do recommend this. I would say definitely purchase it if you're looking for a good face cream. These are actually, it was a trio of some Real Techniques Beauty Blenders. I have not used this really large one yet. It is really large. It's pretty huge. Not sure what I'm really going to use it for. It probably would be good for using on the body, but I have been using the medium size and the little one. I actually really like the little one. I think this one is really awesome for blending out your concealer, getting into really tight little bitty spaces. So I do like that one. I like this one as well. Um, I do like to dampen it up and use it to apply my tinted moisturizers, my foundations, does a really good job. The only thing I've kind of noticed is that when I go and dampen it and I squeeze it to get the water out, product seeps out of the beauty blender. So that tells me the majority of my product is seeping into the beauty blender rather than on my face. So that to me is a little bit uh, you know, like makes me kind of not want to repurchase these again. I used to be a really big fan of Real Techniques Beauty Blenders, but it just seems like they just haven't got as good over the years that the quality has just kind of went down for me. Um, I had an actual original beauty blender and I really liked it. It was honestly the best beauty blender that I've ever used. 
Um, there are some really good ones on Amazon that I've used. I can't think of the name offhand, but I had a black one from Amazon that worked really well. This one's okay too, but honestly, I just feel like a lot of the product soaks up in here rather than on your face. So um, for that reason, I probably would not repurchase the Real Techniques ones. Again. Okay, so this is the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Light. And I purchased this from Sephora. I was looking for a really good tinted moisturizer, and I know that this one was new at the time, and I wanted to try it out. Um, it's supposed to kind of be an all-in-one, you know, primes, moisturizes, perfect has SPF 25, hydrates instantly and over time, promotes a dewy finish, which it does. Um, honestly, I do like it. I am wearing it today and I do like it. It definitely does have a dewy finish. So I don't know how we would feel about this in the summertime because summertime here is pretty hot and sticky. So I'm not sure how dewy I really wanna look. Um, but as far as in the winter right now, it's been okay. Um, something to keep in mind though, if you are someone that doesn't really like a dewy finish or you have very oily skin, this one is very, very dewy. Sometimes I actually go in and set it with a matte powder over it just to kind of keep that shininess at bay. Um, it is nice that it has the SPF in it. It does have a pretty good color. I would say it's actually probably a medium uh, coverage, so very good as far as that goes. But I find that this product transfers around quite a bit on me. If I actually touch my face, sometimes I will actually see a fingerprint indentation of where I touched my face. And it just seems like this product transfers a lot, um, especially right away. It takes quite a while to kind of dry down and kind of make it kind of less um, tacky, sticky on your skin when you first apply it. That is another thing. I guess it is pretty tacky when you first apply it, more so than the Tarte BB cream that I was using. I actually ordered um, the new tinted moisturizer, uh, tinted foundation, they're calling it, from Urban Decay, the Hydromaniac whatever foundation. So I wanna give that a try, see if I like that one better than this one. I don't like the Halo tinted moisturizer better than the Tarte BB cream, but since I have not been able to find the Tarte BB cream anymore, at Ulta or anywhere, I guess I'm gonna have to find something else. This is a good alternative, but not my favorite. If I like the Urban Decay better, I probably will not repurchase this one. Okay, I got two eyeliners for you. I got this little mini size with the Benefit Roller Liner in black, and I got a Black Radiance Fine Line Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Pen. These are honestly the exact same thing. Um, this one is a little bit more waterproof. It says waterproof, but to be quite honest with you guys, it's really not that waterproof. Um, when I usually just wet my face at the end of the night, getting started to wash my face, I already see this one running. So not very waterproof, definitely not as waterproof as the Black Radiance waterproof liquid liner in this kind of tube. Um, and then the roller liner, definitely not waterproof. I think there is a waterproof version, but I do not have it. I like the roller liner um, tip a little bit better. I think it's a little bit longer and it's a little bit more um, soft. Is that the word? I think the Black Radiance one is just very firm. It's almost kind of hard to... I draw a line onto the eyelid with seems like it just kind of like you're using like a hard pencil or something um, whereas this one is a little bit more flexible gives just a little bit of give and makes it a little bit easier to kind of draw that line on there so for that reason i do like the benefit roller liner um better than the black radiance but they are pretty similar as far as performance goes um they both do pretty well they don't like um they don't kind of feather or anything like that they don't transfer around too much on the lid but they're definitely not waterproof which they don't claim to be well that one does this one does not um, would I repurchase the roller liner? I do think I would, but I honestly don't like it better than the tattooed liner from Kat Von D. Um, not a huge fan of hers anymore. I kind of have lost a lot of respect for her, but I do really like her uh, eyeliner. I mean, her eyeliner was pretty great. So 
I may actually just repurchase that instead of purchasing a full size of the roller liner. I got two more products for you guys, so we'll get through these pretty quickly. I got the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer, wearing that today as well. So I don't know if you guys can see it. This is in the shade number three. This is a full coverage concealer if there ever was one. If you guys need to cover something up, this is your concealer. The only thing about it is that this one is the original cakeless concealer, whereas there is another one that's hydrating, and I honestly think I'd go for the hydrating version instead next time because this one is just a little bit too dry for me. It looks very dry, kind of gets into my under eye lines that I've got going on. Um, and for that reason, I would repurchase this, but I would go for the hydrating. If you're someone that has more um, of like a very oily under eye area, maybe you would like this one a little bit better because it's not as, um, it's not gonna be as moisturizing. This one is a little bit more matte as far as the finish goes. But I personally would get the hydrating one, but I do really like the formula, so I will repurchase it in the hydrating. Like the little doe foot applicator, love the packaging, price isn't bad, and I do like the product. The color's actually really good too, so um, would repurchase that. And then the last product I have is this NARS um, Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is in the shade Light 2.8 Marron Glossé. I think that's how you pronounce it. <sighs> wrong shade. <laughs> Can you tell? It's the wrong shade. I purchased this online and this is way too dark for me for my under eye area. Um, also, it is very, very matte. Like, really matte. Like, looks very drying, settles into lines, settles into any kind of wrinkles that you might have. So... I honestly don't think I would repurchase this. I really like NARS products, but I'm just not feeling this one. I'm not feeling this concealer. It's a little too drying for me. And I think at this point in my life, since I have some small fine lines on my under eye area, I don't want um, anything settling into those lines. So for that reason, I'm gonna start sticking with more hydrating concealers and this is just not the one for me. So I may try to use it just on my face if I have like a blemish or something like that just to use it up, but I won't repurchase that one either. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I tried to really get to the point and yeah, hopefully you guys found it helpful. Um, have you tried out any of these products? What do you guys think about them? Would you uh, repurchase some of these? Have you repurchased some of these or do you just really not like some of these? What do you think? I love hearing from you guys in the comment section. So please, please comment and let me know. And if you have any video requests, leave those down below as well. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, click the bell to get notified of more videos from me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.